Hello. In this session, we're going to look at an additional workflow tool called looping or loop geometry. So what looping does is it repeats a specified link until it reaches a surface target um, or until you set a specified number of times that it can loop. Uh, a bench is a good example. It'll, it'll repeat that bench until it either gives you the number of times you're looking for or it reaches a surface target. So let's jump into SubAssembly Composer and we'll deconstruct a looping subassembly and look at how it's been created. Okay, so I'm here in SubAssembly Composer. And as you can see, we have our typical flow chart here with a decision being made. Um, and then we have our geometry here on the right within the preview. So if we look at that from our starting point, we went to our beginning point, our point of origin. We have an auxiliary point, which in this case is the surface. So it's going to look for the surface, first of all. And then from that AP, that AP1 point, um, it's going to make a decision if it's going to daylight or is it going to bench. And you can see here we have a des decision here to make. Um, if it daylights, it's just simply going to do kind of a surface, a slope to surface. If it benches, and I'll walk you through each one here. So if it makes a decision to bench, we'll then go to L2. Have a little swell in this case. You don't have to, but in this, in this example, we have a swell. Creates the swell, and then it looks again for the surface. So it's going to create that same thing. And if it doesn't find the surface, it's going to repeat the loop and go back to creating the, the bench and the cut fill. Uh, so over and over and over. And in this loop, you can see here, this loop number, L01, we have a loop repetition set. So if it does more than 10, it's going to stop, or it's going to stop at 10. Um, if it does less than that, and it's going to find the surface, then it's, then it's done. So a looping will allow you to do a repetitive task over and over until it, it hits the specified number or if it hits the specified target surface.